everybody, my name is Abby. And I'm Caitlin. Welcome to the announcements. We have just finished week three of day camp, and in week two, we had 29 campers accept Christ. And more exciting news, day camp and youth camp are officially full. We have 1,020 campers coming to day camp this year, and we've been able to welcome 510 of them so far. And day camp has had such an incredible impact on not only us as staff, but on our campers as well. We hear amazing stories about how God uses us every day at camp. But we, what we don't normally hear is the stories that campers tell their peers outside of camp. A friend of mine who works at a daycare reached out to me telling me that a young girl attending day camp had told her all about her day and how she had the best time. This camper didn't know this friend of mine outside of work. But she felt comfortable enough to share all this fun that she had at camp and she couldn't wait to come back. That is so amazing and I hope that we get to keep hearing more stories just like that throughout the summer. On August 11th, we are having our Celebration Sunday for the entire church. So we'll be barbecuing outside and everyone is invited, not just day camp. So be there. A huge thank you to everyone who has donated to Hampers so far. To date, we have collected 1,300 items of the 12,000 required to fill the Hampers this Christmas. We want to encourage as many people as can to please consider donating a canned good or two and watch what God will do. If we all do a little bit, we'll reach our goal in no time. Not sure what to pick up? We have a good start of canned goods, but we could always use some more dried pasta and spaghetti sauce and canned meats. As always, please check the expiry date is 2025 or later. Thank you. We have some church family news for you guys this Sunday. So Dan and Laura Gret just celebrated their 31st wedding anniversary on July 25th. Congratulations, Dan and Laura. And we also had Norm and Kathy McIntosh would like to announce the very safe arrival of their grandson, Kyler Patrick McIntosh, born Sunday, July 21st. He's the son of Tasia and Richard and a brother of Calder. Congratulations. And some sadder family news, Reg Lundley passed away on July 22nd. We rejoice because we know that Reg is now in the presence of his savior, but we grieve with Reg's family as they deal with this loss. Okay, we got this. Have a great service! <laughs>